And so we've got a recording of this. Excellent. We can see Sweden's in the house. Latvia's in the house. Vietnam's in the house. We've got the USA, of course, are in the house. Excellent to have you here, Tim. And we have many, many others logging in from all around the world. Singapore is here. USA, Florida. Oh, I do like Florida. Tampa, Florida. That's a pretty cool place. Well, my name is Matt W. Onorona. Uh, I'm your host for today. We're not going to be too long today. We're going to get straight into the structure and content of today's presentation, which is all about pancake swap. So what I'm going to do, first of all, is invite our CEO, our founder, a great leader in the blockchain space, and a gentleman that's just launched his second token, which is a SWIT token, very, very successfully. His first token, of course, being Checkcoin. Mr. Eric Alexandre, are you there? I'm here, Matt. Thank you for the great introduction. <laughs> Thank you. How are you? Pretty good. I mean, quite busy. As you guys know, we just launched the pre-sale of Jcon, because as yeah. you know, we switch also on Binance Smart Chain. So the good news for all of you guys, we got the airdrop back in, uh, I think in May, we did the first setup for June, yeah. May, yeah. 10% of your ERC holding will be airdrop in uh, BSC Jet. And what we did, a bit similar to Swapit, you know, Swapit, we had a little private sale with the community in order to provide liquidity. So we actually launched on uh, Pink Sale. Uh, it's a, a public uh, pre-sale where people can actually purchase up to five BNB at two cents. So it's one BNB okay. for 25,000 tokens. Mm -hmm. And we limit the hard cap at 300 BNB, which is around 150K, just to bring new participants because the Binance token are quite uh, popular. And in order to, so we just launched today on the top of it, we just announced so an exciting partnership. You know, we have a long relationship with uh, football. And yeah. today we just announced our so sleep sponsorship for FA Cup game, Huddersfield against Burnley, which is an, e an EPL team. The match will be played on the 8th of January and it will be broadcast on 35 countries or 38 countries, sorry, on Sky Sports. And we'll be staying with Huddersfield until the end of the season as LED perimeter banners and distribution banners. So Soon you'll see your logo appearing on the official website of LSD as one of the partners. So that's an interesting play because you now we have uh, the pre-sale is open until the 31st December. So once we reach like 150 or 300 BNB, it'll be closing. Yet we saw a couple of members came in a group and purchased uh, on a pre-sale. Well, you have to understand when it's a launch pad, the token will be only distributed when the pre-sale is either over, meaning by the date, or when we reach the hard cap, the moment we reach 300 BNB, then we can decide to distribute the token earlier, but the token won't be distributed before the pre-sale is closed, or if it's unsuccessful, all the BNB will be returned to the buyer anyway. So either way, just a bit of an announcement. But regardless, today I'll be doing the demo for you guys on how to actually do a swap on Pancake Swap, and also on to provide liquidity on a sweet token, which is or main focus. Uh, Rune is uh, in Thailand uh, today. I think he's taking a well-deserved break. I think we thank him at the corporate level. He's been working non-stop since the launch. I think it is a bit of a break. So we've been handling uh, the fort while he's away. And I'm pretty happy to share with you guys how to handle pancake swap and to explain all the slippage works anyway. So without further ado, I'll be sharing my screen and I will lead you through how to do a trade on PancakeSwap, okay? Excellent. There you go. I will share my screen. So I'll check the Google. I think you guys can see, we, we can see my screen now? Yes. Really good. Okay, so first of all, I'm checking on my wallet. So this is the suite. You can see we have 240 BNB ready to go for liquidity. We have some of the token here. I mean, we locked some tokens. So this is the uh, token is the wallet for the airdrop and liquidity. You can see all the token here. So I'm the right wallet. I'm on a BSC uh, main net network. Then I'll go on uh, my pancake swap. So normally it should be already bookmarked. You can see I like I bookmark all my uh, all my preferred website to make sure I don't go to a scam site. So pancakeswap.finance. And here I am. 
So I go straight to train now. Of course, I will have to connect. So I think he connected my wallet. So I will go to wallet. Okay, I will disconnect this one and I will connect the right one. So first I'm connected to the right wallet, yes. 0xf7, 0xf7, okay. So I'm connected, no. I wanna go straight to do a swap. So I will go top trader price. I go to trade, exchange first, okay. So as you can see, it's BNB and no, I need to select the other token. So suite is not there yet. So it's already put in, but what, I, what you would do normally, you would go to the suite buzz. Can you see this window or no? I'm still on pancake swap or the other window? Sweet token. You can see the sweet token, right? Sweet token, yeah. Good. So here we put a smart contract address. So I take you to the next window. I think you can see it. Click on sweet the token. You can copy there. Here's the contract address. I'll be copying it. And what you can do, okay, it's pre-listed here, but you put your address and then it's been added, but basically we ask you to add it. So you click on it, add it, boom, you heard the sound. So now we have BNB and you can see if I put one BNB, I will get 5,018 uh, suite. You can see my slippage tolerance. So remember guys, for the suite token, it's 442, meaning 4% tax will go for liquidity pool. 4% will go for reflection, meaning uh, rewarding the uh, sweat, uh, suite token holder and 2% for marketing activity. So I will go to my setting. And of course, I will set up at 12. I don't have to put 25. I probably was looking at another token. I put 12%. And there you go. This is safe. And I'll do a small trade to show you. OK, let's buy 0 0.2 BNB. So I make a wrong number. I put 1,200 sweet. You can see my balance, my BNB. And I click swap. You can see, yes, maybe it's okay. I confirm. No, it's checking. No, in my MetaMask, I see a transaction. Of course, I need to confirm it. Do you see MetaMask? Oh, no, I'm not sure. I'm confirming the transaction on MetaMask anyway. It's been similar. Add suite to MetaMask. Add, I would say yes, but it's already there anyway, so it's not an issue. I will close. And I will go check for transaction on BSC scan. I could have done it right away, but I'll check it there. So your transaction no is pending, right? So we'll look at transaction a bit when it's confirmed. Remember, on this transaction, I put a, a ten percent. I put twelve actually, but normally I, I could put ten. But I like to put two percent extra because sometimes the price may vary, and you don't want to miss your buy. And it, does, it doesn't go up to 2%, but it's quite safe to add up a bit, a couple of percent on the top of the slippage, because you're sure your transaction will go forth. I mean, this is important when the token gain a lot of popularity. Sometimes you will miss the price because the price can shoot up really fast. So I, I normally I advise to put an extra 2% on the top of the tax fee. So let's see if that transaction is confirmed. Indexing, so we're waiting a bit. You can see our curve is quite nice. We had a bit of uh, up and down here. Okay, so we started, let me, I put one more, but it was late. So at a high start, but I think we're quite stable now. We're going around like nine to 10 cents. Let me see if that transaction is confirmed. Okay, and you can see all the routing system by PancakeSwap. So the transaction has been confirmed. That's the value, the transaction fee, we can see a different, I will click on more. I will decode the input, input data. We tell the amount, the PAP, the address. Okay, everything is clear. The gas use, 80% is quite high. Gas limit, transaction fee. Okay, so basically I pay 0 0.19 under two for $102. That's what I purchased for 24 sweet token. Okay, for a thousand bucks. So now we can go to back to PancakeSwap. I will take you to another platform, which is a bit more sophisticated. Oh, maybe not. Uh, let's do the liquidity. So no, you saw a swap, right? It was easy. You put, and it can go the other way now. I mean, I can flip it. If I want to sell it back, then I will lose a bit, of course, because no sweet, because I bought a bit, the price went up. So there's less sweet on the pool and a bit more BNB. So of course, the suite takes more value, okay? 
So anyway, I go to liquidity. So that's quite simple. I will click, right now I have a pool already, but I would add liquidity to my pool. So I wait a bit, I think it's looking for it. Mm -hmm. okay. I know I don't remove it. Add liquidity instead. One BNB, the suite is already here anyway. So yes, it's, it's really simple. You can see, uh, let me zoom out a bit. Okay. So if I put per se, if I want to put 5,000 suite in there, automatically, yeah, sorry, 5,000, it will give me the amount of BNB I should put. So the price is already set because the pool is existing already. And if I want to put, let's say uh, 100 BNB now, it will ask me to put uh, 60,000 suite in there. So. No, 601,000 suites. So there's a sound coming in, right? There's a party going on here. Okay, good. Anyway, so here you can see it's quite automatic. I go back a bit to show you guys. So, but if you want to join a pool which is not there already, then you put add liquidity and you, you go select your currency. So you put the smart, you put, you have to put the smart contract address so you can click there. So I can put, let's say, Ada Boy, which is another one, but I put Sweet, and here I will select BNB, okay? And as if, if I put one BNB, automatically it will tell me I need to put 6,000 Sweet. If I click Supply, these two will come together. Basically, I'm supplying one BNB and 6,300 Sweet simultaneously into the pool. The advantage, and I will get 2.2% of the pool for this amount. So meaning, each time there's a transaction, uh, I think the on the three percent fee, two point two percent of this three percent will go straight into my wallet. So that's the advantage to put liquidity in a pool. Of course, normally it's good to put anywhere from five to ten. I mean, one BNB is good anyway, but that enables you to have your token placed into a, a safe place on the time on the same time on the top of reflection. You're receiving also transaction fee, which can be quite uh, substantial. Okay, for the pancake swap, I mean, any question, Guy? Guys, any questions at all? You know, Eric's just given you a very short masterclass on how to, you know, swap on pancake swap and provide liquidity. When you're providing liquidity, you're basically taking ownership of that pool. So that is very, very juicy indeed. Uh, Brendan's got a question, Eric. Uh, he's asking, what's the reason? for a failed transaction. Ah, so I'll do it for you guys, okay? So I go back to trade. So let's see, now I want to select um, suite. I'm gonna change the, let's say I will put the different slippage. Because I think the standard people will be at one or 1 1.5. Okay, in, in our case, let's put 0 0.5, right? So right. now I put a really low slippage. So my slippage is 0 0.5, which is really low. You can see it here, right? So let's see if I want to buy 0 0.2 BNB. I click swap. I put a really low, uh, my strippage is really low. I will confirm the swap and normally it should fail. So here I have a failed transaction because remember, we have a reflection, we have liquidity pool. So 4%, you pay a tax of 4% was going to go straight into the liquidity pool. The 4% extra you're paying will be a share among all the token holders, including yourself. And there'll be a 2% will be sent to marketing. So here, I don't have enough slippage, meaning I don't have enough, uh, I'm not paying the tax. So I have to be able to put a higher slippage. Now, in certain case, even if I put 10% uh, here, so you have to change the price. So you have standard, some token will have no uh, tax, no reflection, uh, no fee for liquidity or marketing, or the things potentially don't have any 0 0.1, 0 0.5. This percentage are not really high because they assume the price will not jump so much and they have no taxes on it. So normally up to one or 2%, you're quite safe. But in a case of the sweet token, 10% is the minimum slippage you should put because you have to pay tax in order to put that transaction to pay the 4% liquidity, 4% reflection and 2% marketing. So now I set up 10%. And I will go back to the transaction. So now you can see here, I see is set up at 10%. Right. So my two, 0 0.2 BNB, I will buy. And no, normally, if the price hasn't moved too high, right now, so the price, 
has moved up. So my slippage is too low. I'm too just. So as I said, <laughs> so maybe some people are buying on the same time. So I, I like to put 2% extra. It's a really safe way to, to buy. No, I swap. Confirm the swap. And this one should go through. You see? So I click confirm. You can see I can view on BS scan. There you go, transaction pending. But you, technically, the transaction is going through anyway. So we already seen it's confirmed. OK, I can do on the scan. You can see it. It's still running anyway. I will show you now another platform where <clears throat> personally I like to trade with a bit more uh, advanced. Eric, a uh, couple of questions yeah. from the guys just on Pancake. Um, mm. Artis is asking, when do we see the reflection percentage in our wallets? Uh, it's done automatically. So technically, if you it's quite automated. So okay. if you check on your, sometimes it won't reflect on your wallet right away, but you can see it on the BSC scan. When you put your wallet address, you'll ah. see your amount of token has increased and it will reflect on your wallet as well. Sometimes it's a bit of a delay, but I think it's within a period of uh, anywhere from 10 to 20 minutes, sometimes two minutes. It's really like a random timing, but normally okay. it's fairly fast. Got it. Great. And Arno's got a question. Uh, he's asking, if I put 50% of my SWIT to liquidity, can I take it out from there anytime? Yes, because, okay, that's a, actually the question makes sense. So when, when you place liquidity, you can remove it at any time. The only time you cannot remove liquidity is when we ask you to move your lock token, your token into a lock. Uh, in, into a lock. So I'll give you an example. What we're going to do, uh, let me show, but you can see my MetaMask, unfortunately, anyway. Uh, once you create liquidity, once you add liquidity, the liquidity pool automatically will create a new token representing your holding of token in that pool. Because as, as you know, with token, we have, uh, I mean, suite, we have nine decimal or 18, I'm not sure, I think it's nine decimal. The issue is you cannot really put an exact percentage. You can do like uh, 1.002. So what the liquidity pool is doing on most of the decks is creating a new token. The token will be like BNB suite, BNB suite token, representing your holding on that pool. This way you can have 0.01 token or 10.1008 tokens. So you, it's much more accurate representing your holding on that pool. So at any time, like I can show you now, I can go liquidity because all, all tokens are not locked yet. So if I go to liquidity, I go check to my, see, I can remove. If I remove, I can take everything away in one shot. Ah. Let me see if I click. And I can decide <clears throat> how much. If I put 100% right now, it's called a rook pearl. I mean, it's not rook pearl because I'm taking what, what we put in anyway. And we put 50 BNB. You can say people sold their sweet token because there's only 44 BNB in there. So people actually uh, cashed out their suite, which is okay with us. If I click enable now, I remove all the liquidity at any time. But no. In some of the uh, LP program, when we ask you guys to lock the token, we'll be sending you to another website where we teach you how to lock your token. And per se, if you lock your token for 30 days or 60 days, there'll be tutorial for that. So at this point, you won't be able to remove your token until the period has been uh, en has ended. So if we say 30 day, 30 day, but the benefit of that, which is the staking program we talked about, you'll be able to receive a decent amount of sweet token because you participated to the liquidity pool. So you actually make the project stronger and you create a lot of trust in a community to into the token. Of course, let's be clear, a, a pool with a strong liquidity attracts more buyer, more speculator, and there's more transaction. A pool with little liquidity doesn't inspire confidence because people don't know when they can sell their token. So to buy it is a bit risky. So our target for us is to create decent liquidity. And in the future is to create staking program where, where interesting enough for a member to lock their token for 30 days, 60 days, 90 days. But on, on this format, they receive much more token than a reflection, up to 10%, 15% monthly. But that, I think, will be, will be more specific as we get closer to it. Yeah? Right. Any more questions, cool. Matt? Was it clear uh, enough? Yeah, Brendan had a question. It's not exactly related, but I think it's a good question. Um, he's asking, 
is SWIT actively looking to get listed on CMC and other exchanges? Well, right now we have a few offers on uh, for XT.com with uh, good <clears throat> traffic. But of course, I think CMC and uh, CountGecko will come. I mean, we're quite connected to them. But right now, we're a bit young. I mean, remember, guys, we put only 50 BNB on a pool to allow people who want to sell their token quickly to let them go. I mean, we call it the paper hand because as we see the, the people not selling and we see this community of order are serious, we'll be adding up up to 300 BNB liquidity. Then that looks much more interesting because that 300 BNB is around 160. BNB goes up, could be around 200K USD liquidity. Then we're better contender to, be, uh, to ask for a listing and to move forward. Today, with the amount of uh, token order we have, okay, we have a bit over 2,000 older. But if you look on, uh, in fact, I'll show it to you since we're here. I think it's actually a good sample. Let me go there. Let me look for contract so you can see our order and any any crypto trader will check this out so you can see the various wallets mm -hmm. where we lock the token right i think those are the lock this is on on pancake swap it's 266,000 token and then here we go so 98,000 token 92,000 you can see the token holder here right some mm -hmm. people about goes goes okay 150 but let's see we go to page two <clears throat> Already we moved on to 9,000. So I'll move quickly to place four right away. 6,000, 3,000. Okay, here we go. You see at 251, so I come back one page. If you look closely, I mean, 108 is uh, not reconstructed, but at 244 older, everybody is 54 token. 54 token at 10 cents is like uh, $5.40, right? It's not much. And any crypto trader will see that. So for us, if we were to go on CMC today, I mean, we can push for the listing, but it won't inspire much, much trust because people will say, oh, they have really 243 people who are serious token holder, even though 108, 162 are not big amount because at 10 cents, it's $16, $27. So it's still considered. I mean, even there is $380. I would personally consider... Uh, a valid around this, the $500 older for me would be where I consider, okay, mm -hmm. around this zone, we have technically, I will consider personally, if I don't know Sweet or the project, this guy have 200 older of the token, even though I can see there's 2000 address in there, but it's almost the amount of 173, that's the amount of serious older we have. The two of a thousand older don't have many token. This guy won't be contributing much to liquidity, to trading. The chances are yeah. these people will be dumping their token one day or the other. So it's not really, uh, uh, we don't really look so presentable. We should really trying to promote it outside our community yet and try to seek for active listing on CMC, CONGECO and so forth. We could do it, but it, will, it would give us exposure on the crypto space. And we're not sure this is actually uh, the right time to do so. Now, if this number here, I think the next airdrop, we should be able to reach 6,000 to 7,000. And then if we have up to 6,000 token, 5,000 token for the first 2,000 <coughs> token, then we're contender. We look much more serious. And then it's definitely worth considering a listing on CMC and uh, Count Gecko. Before that, it'll be, it'll be risky because it's almost like we just came out of the ground. We want to be everywhere, promote everywhere, and the crypto trader won't be duped. Maybe some newbies, I don't know what it means, but for me, for any token I will purchase, I will check this detail and, and at first. And I think we explained to you before when we had the inside crypto to check for the, to do due diligence on the project. That's one of the things we say, look at the token holder, but look at how many people hold a decent amount of token who represent actually the people who can audit or have liquidity. Right? Mm -hmm. Does that answer your question? That was great, Eric. Thank you. Um, Arno is asking, what is the difference? I hold my sweat in my wallet or I put it in the liquidity pool? So uh, on a liquidity pool, the advantage is you'll be actually uh, sharing a percentage of all the transactions when people buy and sell. So on the top yeah. of your reflection, you'll be getting extra percentage on BNB. So that's an added advantage to that. On the second level, 
we are preparing a staking program starting in January where you guys, we're going to give you up to 10 or 15% of your token holding into liquidity pool for you. So let's say if you were to put a thousand uh, suite into the pool, you'll be able to receive 150 uh, token monthly up to, and if you keep, if you put for free more, maybe 20% and so forth. So the more token you put, the more, mm. the more, uh, the, the more percentage you get. So look at it at uh, uh, um, a bit like uh, interest, de deposit interest. The more token you put, the higher percentage. Reflection offers you 4%, but uh, lock liquidity offers you up to 20% for a period of six months. So mm -hmm. it's passive income. And at the same time, I would advise you guys to provide liquidity because there's two benefits. By locking your, provide liquidity, locking your token, you get higher staking, so you have higher percentage of token coming to you. As we build the community bigger together, there will be more sweet holder, a bigger airdrop, more liquidity. And when you recover your token after three months or six months, even after one month, the value of token will be much higher, especially after the first quarter. I don't foresee the first three months to have a huge uh, uptake or increase of token. It could happen. I think what I foresee will be mostly a stable price anywhere between eight and a half cents to 10, 11 cents. Maybe there'll be some spike if for some reason the market picks it up, but I don't see why yet, but you never know, that could happen as well. But mostly we're gonna have a stable, uh, steady um, sideway uh, positioning, which is stable for us. But I think on the second airdrop on the first quarter, if we can increase to five, 6,000 wallet and have serious older, then we'll see a serious uptake on the value. And of course, on our side, then we'll be pushing for CMC, CONGECO. We'll be looking at XT, 8BTC. We have access to big exchange. The issue is not there, but today to do so, we'll spray thin or holding or liquidity, and we won't be able to guarantee a good price. And we'll, it will be a meager uh, presentation for the crypto community. And it will be harder to bring them back afterwards, if yeah. you guys understand that, right? Yeah, very, very sensible, very sensible. So no, if you want, I will, if there's no more question, I'd like to take you to Dex tool. That's a trade. I like PancakeSwap. I think it's a really uh, simple platform, right? You put the amount, you select your token. So you put a smart contract. If you don't have it, you go to the sweet bus token and you find it. Let me move the bar. So you can go there, it's a sweet token. I copy the contract here, I put it in. It's already there, but for every token, we are not a pre in a pre-selection here. You have to put the smart contract address, okay? The suite decided by me already, and there it goes. I know if I want to sell suite, I just have to do the opposite, right? So if I put the max, I'll be recovering 42. So I don't have to remove liquidity. I, I can sell all my token, and there'll be basically only sweet token in a pool and the price will probably crash because there's no demand, right? Of course, I won't right. do it, but that will be one of the risks, but we have no interest to do so. But what we said, once we uh, issue enough liquidity on a corporate level, we'll be locking the token for a period of six months for a year. So there'll be, you guys will be guaranteed with safety and liquidity because we cannot remove it or we cannot uh, like uh, dump the token or whatsoever, because basically it's locked, right? So we have to wait a period of time, six right. months, a year. I think probably we'll do a year lockup period, then at least it's really safe and create a lot of trust for the community as well to know that the project owner are not uh, touching liquidity for a long period of time. In fact, we'll be adding That's to true. it. Now I'll show you the other platform I, I like to trade for. For, some, for the guy who are a bit more advanced in, uh, in trading, we like a more traditional platform. It's called dextool.io. <clears throat> so I will launch the app. Again, all this is on Chrome where my MetaMask is, uh, is there. You can see my MetaMask, huh? important. So I will launch the app. You see, it's a bit more like a traditional board. You can see all the out there. So I go to BSC, I go to Pair Explorer. So I'm looking for my pair and here we go. So I'm not sure favorite. I will, I will get, I will get the smart, I will go copy the smart contract. I do it for you guys to understand the process in case you want to watch the video again. I copy, I put it here. And here, so swap it is here. So right now we're eight cents, guys. So you mean that we have been, we get some sell. So. 
I should, I'm, not, I'm not on the right wallet though. Let me change wallet. Yeah, I should be there. Uh, maybe I need to disconnect on this one. Got too many wallets, Eric. Well, you know, you like. Uh, I like a bit of diversity in my. Uh... <laughs> Let me see where I'm connected. Anyway, I need to disconnect first. Okay, so let's launch the app. Tell me why I'm not connected yet. Because I was, you always remember the last one, the last way that I was connected to, which happened all the time anyway. My wallet, which one I'm in? You see, give me the wrong one here. Ah. Okay, so you can do this right. But I need to change my wallet, that's it. Okay, I go here, I put the contract. Anyway, we can look at the... Buy and sell, I put the max. Okay, so I'm a, okay. I need to change wallet though. Ah, oh, this one doesn't give it to me here. Okay, anyway, I can buy here too. Good, it's like a different wallet. So if I would maximum, I can buy 10 suite for 0016 BNB token, right? No, I can look at the curve from the timing. So you have five minutes. I'm going to look for the uh, for one week when we launch. Now we can see what happened, okay? So right now we have a huge spike and it went down, right? So people have been selling, even though I bought a bit, no, we're at 8.6 cents, almost 9 cents. As I expected, people would drum the token. If I do the 30 minute curve, a bit less, let's go to the five minutes. So here you can see more, right? Mm -hmm. It's interesting. If you look at it, when we launched, we went up to 16 cents here, and you can see up and down, up and down. And if I look below, you can see all the transaction. You can see the buy and the sell coming in and out. Now, let me go down. Normally I, normally, I use, uh, let me go on my big screen. Sorry, guys, I'll move my computer a bit. You can still see my screen or no? Uh, we can see the original one, yeah. Let me share the new one. I'm going to share a new screen because normally I use the big one. Uh, okay. Yeah, I'm not trading on the my laptop. Traders, traders screen, right? You can see my screen, all right? Yeah, we can see it. Yeah. You can see it's much bigger, right? Yep. And you can see I can throw easily all the buy and sell happening. Yeah. So yeah. this is my purchase. So you can see it, right? So, and if you look on the curve uh, here, you can see my, my two purchases are here. Can you see it clearly? Okay. Yep. This is me here. One, two transactions. So I bring the, I brought the price up a bit by buying a couple 0 0.2 and 0 0.9 here. Okay. This is my wallet. You can see it here. Mm -hmm. So we're quite steady anyway. I mean, you can see a lot of transaction. I think there's a couple of bots in there as well. We're buying, which is nice. A couple of bots? Yeah. Right. It's because, uh, I mean, there's people trading uh, using bots, and these bots scroll the web and automatically start buying and selling. So it's not really, uh, it's quite automated. Okay. All right. I mean, on this one, it's quite easy because it's the same principle. You put the amount, it tells you how much you get and you swap. You can also click on automatic and then you can decide your custom slippage. So I click on set custom, I click auto, sorry. I will put 12. Eric, can you make your screen share bigger? Is it big, no? Is that as big as it goes? I guess my screen is big, but you guys won't see it. Okay, let me see if it's better there. Let me go back. Can you see it here? Uh, we can see your desktop, but we can't see your trading screen. Ah, okay. Let me stop and reopen again. This one. Okay, yeah, now? That, that, yeah, that's better. Yeah. Okay. So you can see here, I can I just set up. So in this, you click the little rule. So I'm put like 10, set custom slippage, and you see 10% here, right? And yeah. I can swap. And if I put, let's say, let's say I put five. I said custom five. I can put automatic as well. You can see if it's auto. Let's say I put auto slippage, but I won't do it because I don't want to do the trade. I put, I put swap. And it won't, it won't allow me to do it because, of course, for us, it's 422. I need to put 10% minimum. Right. 
You see, it doesn't even go through. He would tell me after a while, he, he, the trade cannot happen. He's trying now. He's looking for the rotter. Anyway, you see our price went down here, guys. So that's exactly why, what you see. Cannot uh, calculate valid slippage. Try sitting in manually. You see it? That's it. Yeah. You don't accept the trade. Anyway, what you can see here, that's exactly what we talked about on the last Insta Crypto when we explained the, the token economics and our logic to don't put all liquidity in one shot because you realize now uh, we put 50 BNB when we list the token. Currently, there is uh, on a pool, as we saw on PancakeSwap. Let me go back to PancakeSwap and check it out. Liquidity, loading my pool. Here, I have this one. I should do this one. Come on. Okay, I'm connected here. So this is my pool here. You see here, I get only 40.6 pool BNB, right? Yep. And now there's 266,000 uh, pool suite. But when we started, we put actually 50 BNB. So it means it's almost seven. So we're gonna say like uh, almost, uh, it's like 5.3 BNB have been removed from the pool. And I mean, 5.3 worth of suite have been sold. So people yeah. added more suite in a pool and there's less BNB creating a price, uh, the price going down because now there's more sweet token than BNB at the origin. For the sweet token to go up, this number should be above 50 BNB. If it goes 51, 52, then we'll be easily at 11, 12 cents. So right now it's good. That's why we're waiting a bit because a lot of people have a small amount of token. They might not want to keep it. And if they dump it, at least it's easy for us now to purchase two or three BNB to bring the price back up and put more liquidity. Okay. Yeah? Yeah, makes sense. Makes sense. Okay, so I guess I stop to share my screen and we can take it uh, live, right? Any more questions? Absolutely. I hope it was God, clear enough, it? guys. It that was really good. Normally, it's ruined the specialist of presentation, but I do my best. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was really good. Thank you, Eric. I think it was really good. Guys, any questions? Um, be nice to get some live interaction. So if you've got a question and you want to open your mic, we can do that. Yeah. Um, we, have, uh, 40 minutes. we have 20 minutes. Anyways, welcome to speak. Yeah. Hi, Eric. Can I, can I? Hey, Arno, yeah, shoot. Yeah, hi, guys, hi, guys. Hey. It was very nice uh, introduction of PancakeSwap. Uh, so my question is, uh, as I understand, uh, there is no extra risk for me to keep my all my sweet tokens in liquidity pool, right? Uh, no, I think because it, it's not that because you're going to put both. If you put a liquidity, you have to put BNB and sweet token. The only risk going to happen if uh, we decide to remove all the, because we, we, right now we're the biggest holder, right? We have the most sweet token in the pool. So if we decide, okay, let's take advantage of you guys. We take, we take all the BNB, all the sweet out. And then we, we sell all the suite we have for your BNB. So you end up uh, with a double the amount of suite. So if you put 10,000 suite, you have 20,000 suite, but there's more BNB, but it will be really uh, wrong for us to do so. And this is why once we uh, put enough liquidity up to 200 or 300 BNB, we'll be locking the liquidity token to guarantee this won't happen. The only risk is because the project is playing against you, but for us, uh, it will be stupid to do so. It's almost like shooting ourselves in the foot. I mean, because uh, we, your two BNB or 10 BNB you put in there is not a match for the amount of talk of BNB we're putting in. You hear me clearly, right? Yeah. Thank you very much. Yeah. I mean, it's to explain you, if, if you were in difference, like let's say now you're a big sweet holder, let's say you have 1 million sweet and you're going to put like 200 BNB. The, the risk is the risk you're taking, you're speculating, oh, maybe all the people who got the sweet airdrop is going to sell their token and wind up with more sweet token. But the worst case scenario, you, you get more sweet, your BNB value will go down, but each time someone does a transaction, you get a percentage or you have a few percentage. So if you're a big holder of the pool, it's an advantage. Right now, the sweet uh, corporate, we're getting the bulk of the transaction each time you guys buy and sell because the 3% percentage goes straight into a wallet. So, because we, we all the pool, the liquidity pool, of course. But 
that's how he put the liquidity reflection. But once we lock the token, it will send a strong trust signal for all of you guys and people outside the crypto people say, oh, watch this guy. They have three, 500, 1,000 BNB locked for a year. It's guaranteed they don't want to pull the liquidity out. They cannot do it because once we put the lock, the debt and a smart contract, there's no way we can take it off. Right now, the benefit to put your token there, you can keep it for reflection. If you feel, hey, I want to sell it at some point, I might need some cash, that's your decision. If you lock it with us on liquidity, on the staking program, you get more than reflection. So you have a bit better advantage. And, but the difference is if you want to retrieve your token after, if you lock for uh, 90 days or 30 days, you have to wait for the end of the period before you can retrieve your token, both the BNB and the suite. So you have to make sure financially you don't need this token at all. Yeah. Great. Great. Any any more questions at all? Artis, you got more anything? More of a comment. Class. Yeah, more more of a comment. It's okay. I hope you hear me. I'm I'm yes. on a train, and uh, yeah, Sweden in 2021 trains don't have good Wi-Fi. <laughs> anyway. Um, I just wanted to add here that we, we have a little liquidity thing right now, and that is only because the company granted us the generosity of doing the full airdrop. Okay. Even if there was revenue to write the liquidity. So now, it, now it's actually up to here because this is we all got stakes in the game and we need to appreciate the sacrifice that that eric did his pants down for us and uh, let's just step up hold it and tell the teams to be secure because this project is going to take off and the sooner we help out the better it is okay that's my comment thank you very much thank you class and i think i would like to add to it class is totally right because if you guys remember on original presentation back in may even april or strategy at the corporate was to actually release uh, the airdrop the token once we sell 10% of the deck of 980 million 20 cards, right? So which is 98 million card. We're about to launch 100 million token. At this point, we had calculated the liquidity because with the 10% liquidity fee and transfer fee and other expenses, we would have at least around 4.5 to $5 million liquidity to put into, into the pool, guaranteeing the 10 cents and such a huge amount of liquidity, it would have sent a strong signal on the crypto community as well. Getting listed now, on uh, con market cap, uh, con gecko, even to get listed on exchange like Kucoin and Binance, no an issue because you're coming as a strong contender. And we also calculated at 10% uh, of the deck of card, we should have around 200,000 members. So with that kind of community, that kind of liquidity, this is definitely sexy enough for big exchange. Now we spoke about it. I think a lot of the requests of the, you guys, we say we wanted to have the the token to be a drop earlier. So we set up a target of 10,000 Legion pack, no, 10,000 member and 1,000 Legion pack. We haven't reached this target. I think we did 400 Legion pack and not all of them actually were sold because we distributed a lot of them to the early leader in order to activate their team. I think you guys know on that and some of you benefit from that. I think there were no BV at the time, but it's part, I think, of the way to attract uh, players and leader to be motivated and activate their team. So, but Representing the amount of liquidity we collected, we had around, like we calculated around 125, 150,000 US, we should, at 10 cents, it represents 1.5 million token. Technically, we should have airdropped 3 million token only, 1.5 to the member, 1.5 to the pool. But we took the risk to go for the 10 million, 5 million on both sides. But unfortunately, we, can't, we don't have enough liquidity to support it. So we developed a smart strategy of putting 50 BNB, then add up 50 BNB, 200 100 BNB to 300 BNB. We had a small pre-sale as well. And what we hope if you guys are the token, because right now the pressure is not on you guys, it's on us. If all of you decide to sell all your suites, 
all the BNB goes, and this is it. The token goes to one cent, zero cents, and or zero point one cents, and we look ridiculous. And if you go to new member, hey, they are they are dropping a token. They say, but <laughs> is a zero zero one cents one satoshi? Sorry, I don't want that token. It's a shit coin. But we, uh, that's why when the, the, Arno said, well, the risk is more on our side today. But but I think we trust you guys. You'll be older, and uh, that's why I think we're creating also. A, an exciting staking program to reward you because you're early adopter and older, but at the end of the day, it's your choice. I mean, you'll see on other community, people will impose certain thing. For me, what I like personally about the blockchain is the fact we're independent node. We decide to join forces together to develop a project because it's aligned with our vision. And we think building this is gonna benefit from us and people around us. And that's what we do so. And hopefully we help each other to grow better and stronger as we go. 100%, 100%. Any more questions, guys, at all? We're nearly getting to the cut, so... Uh, but there any... will be also some exciting announcements. Since uh, JetCon has that partnership, which is exciting for FA Cup, yeah. I'm sure Matt is excited. There will be some uh, VIP ticket available for the for UK leaders if they, they're willing to travel so far north. I heard uh, this bill is quite <laughs> far away from uh, where Matt is, but it's uh, nice to have some representative there. But uh, we'll be uh, negotiating a few games where the Swapit logo will be featured on EPL along the Jetcom logo. For a few games, then we can run competition, some NFT, and to give us global exposure as well. So that will be part of the deal. Since I'm founder of both companies, of course, I see totally uh, total value to the strong cross-marketing for the company. Yeah, no, it's, it's really good. We're very, very happy. I've never seen a project that's done so much and evolved so much in such a strategic way in the few months that we've been together. I mean, it's incredible. So really, really hats off to you, Eric. Congratulations on your news with JetCoin. That's really, yeah, really uh, something special. Also, thanks to the leader, because I think the, all of you guys have been also guiding uh, me and the team with your experience. I think we had a bit of a teething issue, but I think every project does. But okay. what I found interesting, we were able to find a middle ground where we could bring the crypto experience and knowledge to network marketing. And you guys were able to adapt your traditional network marketing method to what uh, the new offering we're bringing to the table. And I think we found a middle ground. Like I think we can grow the project you know, healthily with the two lines uh, growing together and find better, I mean, find a way better to be better and to improve the the project, the system, and uh, the promo package together. Yeah, 100%. It's very, very exciting times. Uh, I can't pronounce the name, but I think it's a Swedish name. And they're yeah. saying, uh, I'll try, Oscar Strom. Could be yeah. Norwegian, could be Norwegian. Is it smart to trade all your sweat, or should you have some left in your MetaMask? Just laying there. Kind of an option, <laughs> right? That's an option. <laughs> <laughs> that's, a, that's a good question. <laughs> if, if you want, you can swap it. You can swap it different during different wallet if you want to. If you're too bored, you can have couple wallet on MetaMask and transfer between accounts. I think it's free too. Yeah, I think it's free. Thank you for a piece of humor. <laughs> that's fun. Trade trading is risky. Holding is pretty safe. <laughs> yeah, thank you, class. <laughs> <laughs> As a fellow Swede, Oscar. <laughs> just answering. Okay, we can open the mic for Roberto if he wants a few words. Abdo is a CFO and liquidity uh, expert. Yeah, let's get him on. Uh, Roberto, a bit there. Hey, guys, can you hear me? Hey, Roberto. Yes, Loud and clear. Hey, how are you doing, everyone? Absolutely fine. Good. Yeah. No, I'm all good. Thanks so much. Uh, approaching the year end. Uh, hopefully, everyone will have a little bit of time off. Um, so I'm looking forward to that. Um, yeah. So last week uh, was a busy week for everybody, including the swap it uh, airdrop. So I just wanted to maybe uh, reiterate and uh, repeat uh, what the guys were saying before that. Yeah, what we've uh, found is that, you know, many of uh, the users uh, haven't filled out their wallet address properly, which was uh, quite a big chunk. So obviously, as a leader, for you guys, you have to kind of uh, educate the teams and, and just tell them that, you know, whatever announcements are coming out, uh, they have to really 
pay attention for because you know what we found that uh, in most of the higher categories, the, the leaders, the supporters, they were all fine. Like everyone knew what to do, but uh, you know we've got quite a lot of activated members who should have put the wallets in there, and um, you know that that wasn't there. So I think if uh, for the next uh, airdrop, which is going to be the Q1. Uh, if you can, guys, you know, emphasize and put more focus on on educating the users, and then say, okay, guys, you will not get anything on, unless you uh, fill that wallet out, uh, the wallet section out. Uh, then obviously, you will not get the, the, the token. So now we could see that you know we managed to do the airdrop. Uh, I know that there were some people who were kind of asking and uh, looking for the tokens. Uh, but that's again uh, due to the strict uh, timeline. So whatever timeline we give you, because it's uh, part of the code. Uh, so you know, once we have the cutoff uh, by the system or by the code, you know, that's it. So we just you know have to work as per the reports. So yeah, these are yeah, the, no, the things that I wanted to we mention. We can thank Roberto for this because we went through the audit two times. Roberto went a third time personal on his time because. We, we were surprised to see so little wallet compared we should have like 5,000 wallet instead so it was a big uh, drop on our side and uh, we also had an audit on the system side but Roberto really went through in details and I think his report from the start was accurate but of course we, uh, we, we were questioned as well because for us we're quite surprised because it's the first time I mean for us we're surprised because even a crypto space free token normally everybody goes I mean this is an interesting actually concept that network marketers don't like token. I don't. It's it's an interesting concept. We can talk about uh, this first airdrop in the future and, and laugh about it. But it was uh, surprising. But thanks to Roberto, who's been through the report like several times, and because we had a lot of report to go through. Uh, I'm not talking about the payout, about the airdrop. We had also the promo going on on a uh, on a legend pack as well. So there were sweet yes. token also for different ranks, uh, different promo we're running. So it was a really well at least a. Uh, 12 or 20 reports to merge together and to make sense of it and Robert did a really good job on it and I think he spent a lot of time. We spent uh, one night together to go through everything before the drop and after the drop effectively a lot of not a lot I think but 12 15 discord or member came back and said I put my wallet but unfortunately it wasn't there. We actually did an over audit directly for our system mm -hmm. with a timestamp but what we did to make sure it wasn't the system we actually uh, I suggested our tech team, Richard, in the uh, US to issue a series of reports of all the, all the airdrop, or all the, all, the, all the wallets, sorry, and to do another one five minutes later and five minutes later for the next hour. So literally, we output like uh, 30 reports and to check if any wallet was missing. So it was really good because by doing so, we realized nothing was missing. The system was working perfectly. And what we saw, if few people add up a new wallet. <coughs> if we've seen missing wallet after five, six reports, we know the system has a, has a discrepancy. But what we saw after 10 reports, it was a few wallet added, which is normal because some people may add their wallet at any moment. So the system was double checked as well. So I think it was good for us to know so. Of course, as we spoke, I think uh, we messaged on the, on the group if some of the legend, because they missed it, lack of knowledge, we can try to work something out because there's some extra token who haven't been airdropped. So okay. we can accommodate, but that's a decision to make. I think right now we'll be waiting for Rune to take a good break, come back from holiday, because I think there'll be no inside crypto Monday. We're taking a break. But of course, this issue can be dealt before Christmas and it can be discussed. And as usual, we're quite flexible on, on the first to go, but on the second will be a bit more, uh, I think, uh, would be more strict and uh, not so flexible. Okay. Yeah. So, but yeah. I mean, uh, for my, for me, what it kind of stood out, you know, the the, the legends. Um, I th if I remember correctly, like at least seventy plus uh, that had missing bullets. Um, mm. And also for the bonus, the super legend bonus. I think I there was only three or four. Uh, but from the buyer side and also for sponsor side, uh, someone left the wallet uh, missing uh, empty. So, you know, I think, you know, they, they, they really have to be careful. And if, especially if, you, if they spend that much for a legend pack and even in the promo that they, they just have to make sure that they fill out everything correctly. And then, you know, there will be no issue with getting the tokens.
Great, great job, guys. I mean, we really appreciate you, Roberto, bringing all your expertise Thanks. from your financial service days and everything. And, um, you know, what we've got here, guys, is a thorough company, you know, that's, that's run by serious directors, people like Roberto, who have got serious backgrounds with huge, you know, merchant banks, okay? And they bring that experience to the table. I've never seen a company in the MLM space like this. Never, okay? Um, I mean, this is just huge. So guys, we really appreciate you, Roberto and, and Eric, you know, and all the diligence that you take and still the generosity that's there to say, hey, if there's a legend holder, there's something we could maybe do. We could work something out, right? We're not saying exactly what it is. We've got to wait for Runa to come back. But, you know, that's, that's really generous, guys. Really, really generous. So I think we all appreciate you as a community. We're all wishing you a great, uh, you know, Christmas, holiday season, New Year's. And um, we're really grateful for all the experience, wisdom, and um, knowledge that you bring to the table. Because I can see people just rising up in this space. You know, myself included, the learning curve has just been huge. So we really appreciate you guys bringing your expertise to the table. Thank you. And yes, there's a question from uh, Angel Don, right? When, when we will have news for the next month airdrop. Normally, we announce it at the end of the month, but we, we, may, <coughs> we may be uh, we're discussing uh, another possibility. This will be shared on a leadership group with Matt, class, and over. I think class was uh, suggested a good idea. I think we had it on a corporate level, but right now our focus is not there. I think we just finished the airdrop. We're focusing on a sweet liquidity pool and to make sure the token is well, uh, is behaving properly. I think we have, a, we also a few, right now we just have the smart contract audit who's been, uh, was ready. I think it needs to be on the website. The light paper, is actually finalized. We're waiting for the design. So we're working on a sweet dot buzz website to have the smart contract audit and to have the light paper because that's more an, an emergency. There might be an option. We might do something different for January, February, and April to support the sweet token, but that's something we'll talk on the leadership group. And then we can we'll convert to the member when we share about it. But right now it's not fully defined yet. Those are just brainstorming ID and we want to wait the feedback of the leader to decide the next move. Of course. We have a few uh, token uh, uh, possibility, but uh, this is not what's on the table yet. We, we're discussing some ideas. Cool. Cool. All right, Matt, cool. I think you can take it away. I think we're uh, almost an hour. So yeah, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year, all of you guys. It's a pleasure to work with all of you and thanks for your hard efforts. Uh, always happy to see good results and uh, let's make sweet, uh, bring sweet to the moon on 2022. I think that's the target. I think you know, everything is ready in place and uh, we seem to have like a good system with a good team. So it should be a lot of fun in 2022. Yeah, thank you, guys. Thank you, everyone. Eric, Roberto, all of the members, thank you guys. all the great leaders here. Merry Christmas. Have a Merry Christmas. You know, sweet to the moon. Happy New Year. And remember, it's that time of year where people relax, they celebrate, but they also like to have conversations about what's possible for them in 2022. So have a great time with your families, but keep your ears open and make sure you keep having those conversations because what we have is very, very special indeed. My name is Matt W. Onorona. My time is up. We want to thank you for yours. Mr. Paul Mellon, happy Christmas. And we will see you. There's no... Um, inside crypto next week we'll be back in january um but the work goes on bye so bye. You know, if you need anything reach out to your leaders bye 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 guys thank okay. you guys merry christmas thank everybody. You, matt. thanks for bye organizing bye. the zoom matt i appreciate it oh my pleasure my pleasure speak yeah. soon guys. bye